so if you have found a great product and you want to uh, check the trend of a product so there are three ways in which you can do that uh, the first way is we have to see the sales trend of the highest selling product so let's have an example for example I am here in amazon.com and I have selected best sellers right so now I am just browsing some products So you will find several products over here or you can go into these subcategories or categories and you can find the best selling products on those categories. Right. Okay, for example, I like this product and uh, you can take it as, a, as an example that I have taken this product as a main product and all the criteria is meeting for this product so how am I going to uh, find out the trend of this product so first of all I have to find out the main keyword of this product and this product is using rainbow magic uh, rainbow ball magic cube so I will search rainbow ball and I will see what results is showing alright so it is showing some other kind of balls this is not exactly the same uh, product which we have opened this is some other kind of product so it means it is not the main keyword it is not re relevant keyword so I have to find the closest main keyword uh, and I will do this through the title I will open this product again and now I will see the titles of other same reports so this product is having challenging puzzle speed cube ball rainbow ball magic rainbow ball rainbow puzzle ball I think rainbow puzzle ball is uh, more relevant let's check it out rainbow puzzle ball okay Uh, so it is very relevant keyword and we are having the search results and borders are almost same you can see that border is almost same so this is the right keyword now I will find which one is the main keyword and I will go to magnet you can see my other video on how to find the main keyword I have explained in detail that how to find it here I am just going to do it fast because I want to show how to find the trend after you find the main product the main keyword and the main and the right product okay pop it fidget tool this is something else I'm not going to open it because I know what is it fidget bag it is generic fidget cube no toy toys bag I'm gonna check this this All right, this is some other folder This is also not the main border.
I'm just scanning it because um, I am using my common sense right now uh, the keywords which I think can't be that rainbow puzzle ball so I am not opening those keywords Okay, puzzle ball fidget toy. So, puzzle ball fidget toy. So, this is the main keyword, and it is having 6122 search volume, right. So I will run x-ray on this main keyword search. So this is the result you will get. Now we have to find out the product which is selling uh, well and which is the oldest. So this product, the number one product selling the same product and it is the highest seller, highest value seller. So this is the graph, sales graph of each product. Now I will click on the sales graph. This is 30 days. I will click on all time to check the trend. so this is the trend previously it was selling 20 to 21 units average 20 uh, units per day in October 2020 now but now it has uh, drastically increased so it looks like it is uh, it is typical product or maybe there are two spikes this spike is in March and this spike is in December so normally it sells around 15 to 20 units on average so this is the this is the trend rather it is typical or seasonal now if, if we need to save this trend then we will take a screenshot Alright, I will copy this and uh, now I can save this screenshot or I could paste it anywhere for example whatsapp or word file maybe so this is the first strand which we have taken from million alright so main keyword trend we have to find out the trend of main keyword So we will go again to magnet. This is magnet. Okay, you must remember that that one uh, whenever you use this helium 10 tool, uh, either it is magnet or cerebro, you have to go to the history button. Let me show you. You have to go to this this history button. And then you have to delete the searches which you have done because uh, if you are using shared tool then multiple users can see the history of search terms uh, searched by others 
so if you are searching your product and you have put some keywords into this then other users can see your research from this history tab so you have to go to history and delete delete the searches which you have done otherwise your keyword can be steal or uh, anyone can copy that okay so this is the main keyword and here is the trend icon it has 4966 searches and if you click here then it will show the trend of keywords search volume now we will go to all time so this is the keyword trend now i will print the screen either i can save this this screenshot or i can uh, paste it or share it anywhere so i have copied this now i will paste it over here so we have covered these two trends now i will show you how to find uh, keyword trend on google so i will go to google So this is my main keyword, I will put it over here and I will enter for search. Now we have to select United States, 5 years and now we have to see what is the trend. So on Google search there is no such substantial trend results over here still if uh, it was a product or it was a keyword which was which was uh, having some search volume on google as well then google would have shown that over here in this trend so we will take a screenshot of this as well i'll copy this and i will paste it over here So these are the trends. So whenever we are going to find a good product and we have found a golden product actually, then we have to check its trends and we will see these three kind of trends. We will find out each trend individually and then we will analyze. I hope this video will be useful for you. Thank you.